All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're gonna be taking a look at how to become a male feminist. This is always a really interesting topic in my opinion because it's an easy way to tell who doesn't get right? Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you take a look at the men that be out there marching the streets, oh my God, you couldn't even force someone to now, before we get too far into the video, there's something I want to highlight, all right? Listen, I know I normally exaggerate in my videos. It's just because I think it makes the content funnier. However, in reality, I'm being completely honest here, there are essentially two tiers of feminism. The first tier is girls that actually want equality, nothing more, nothing less. They just want to be seen as someone on the same level as a man or whatever. If you're a goddamn popsicle today, congratulations. They just want to be seen as equal now those are women I can actually respect but when it comes to the tier 2 feminists these are always the ones you see on the internet overreacting to quite literally nothing they have blue hair just shy of about 500 pounds hell every time they take a step some people think it's an earthquake it's actually just Bertha walking down the hallway anyways those are the individuals that quite literally have no respect and they make the entire movement look like a fucking laughing stock now I'm sure most of you saw this picture from Daifo over on Twitter, but it's just too good to not talk about, all right? Take a look at this sad little pathetic boy. He out here marching the streets with women, actually holding up a fucking sign that says men are trash. Whenever I see someone in this particular position right now, I just automatically assume they're having a hard time getting We've all been there, fellas. All right, let's not deny we've all had a dry spell or two. This is not the answer, though, okay? Walking around with a sign that says men are trash while you are a fucking man is just simply not the answer, all right? Because now you look like a fucking fool. If your father saw this picture, do you think he'd really be proud of you? I'm not even going to lie, fellas. I couldn't imagine going through all the pain and stress of walking around all day with that stupid ass sign just to get home and this girl don't even want to smash, right? She wants nothing to do with you. She's tired. She's had a long day walking. And rather than going home, leaving a couple stains on the bed sheets, you're stuck snuggling like a fucking idiot. I honestly, I can't even make that up, bro. A moment of silence for all of our brothers out there that failed fucking miserably. All right, that's enough time. You losers don't deserve that much. Now, anyways, guys, next we're going to be taking a look at the video of how to become a male feminist. Before we do that, though, it's always a good idea to look at the like to dislike ratio. This will give you a good indication of whether the video is good or not. Obviously, looking here at this one, we have 279 likes to 2.6 thousand dislikes. That's how you know. Oh, this is good. This is going to be some heat right here. Anyways, if you're not a pussy, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it, fellas. Hi there, I'm Sipat from Bangladesh. This video is all about how young men can be feminists alongside women in achieving gender equality. If you stand for equality, then I'm afraid you are already a feminist. Anyone in the world who has a concern over women's rights is a feminist. Wait, does this mean I'm I'm a no. No, there's no way, man. Also, I like how the very first point they make in a how to become a male feminist video is to respect women, as if that isn't the most painfully obvious answer you could have given me. And why they have to do my boy Safat dirty like that? They got him out here looking like he's the dude in high school. I mean, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Literally every school in America has this. It's basically the clique that has all the hot girls in it, and somehow there's one dude that weasels his way in there, and then it turns out he's not fucking anymore. It's crazy how that happens because it's almost as if hanging around some hot women that actually like to suck dick could really change the way you look at things in life. Work with innovation because innovation will lead you to a bigger audience. Alright, dude, I don't even fucking agree with what these people are saying right now, but whoever's job it was to make this video, they need to be fired, okay? They fucking suck at their job. 
they are actually really bad. So you're trying to convince me to become a male feminist and this is the best you can do? This is sad. This is fucking pathetic. I would expect something like this from a fucking third grader, but not from these people. Like your first tip on becoming a feminist is to respect feminism. Wow. Way to really think outside the fucking box on that one, all right? And then your second tip is to be innovative. And then that's it. Like the guy just fucking says, be innovative. And that's it. That's, that's all that happens. Now I honestly understand why this video has so many dislikes. They're not even trying to convince people to be a feminist. I mean, if anything, you're just convincing people to stay the hell away from you. Be brave, be proud, because sharing with girls will not reduce your rights. Rather, it will, it will expand the rights of others. As a man, you are privileged in a patriarchal society. Just stop. Just stop, bro. How much money did these girls pay you to say this shit? There's no way you actually woke up one day and was like, you know what, man? I want to make a difference in the world. I really want to feel like I did something today. And this is the dumb shit you be out here saying on the internet? Oh my god, this shit fucking hurts me. Listen, bro, I don't know what walls you were trying to slide on in, but all I'm gonna say is that I hope you got it, and I hope it was worth it. Because fucking that girl, it may not last forever, but this video for sure is fuck will, alright? And you know what, dude? I honestly forgive you. As long as you got whatever you were hoping to get, getting laid, getting your dick touched, you know, finger in the booty hole, whatever you're into, bro, as long as you got that, I'm good. I forgive you. I understand, we've all made mistakes. I mean, hell, there was one time I dressed up like a girl just to get some ass, and those pictures are still here to this day. God, I wish I could fucking get rid of them. Now I just, I look back at it and I'm like, yeah, I was an idiot. I looked fucking stupid right there. But now, now I, you know, sometimes you just, you gotta live through the moment, learn through experience. That's just how life goes. Maybe back in the day you could get away with some of this shit, but now that everyone's got a camera on their cell phone, it's just, it's not really doable anymore. More. Guys, with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Abimanyu Sharon, Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and I will catch you guys next time later all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be talking about probably one of the weirdest stories I've ever heard all right I'm just gonna be completely honest here this don't even make any sense Today, we're going to be talking about a woman that decided to quit her job in order to breastfeed her boyfriend for a living. Now, in this day and age, I would say it's pretty common whenever a mother decides to go on maternity leave. I mean, it makes sense, right? You're popping another human out of my favorite hole. And on top of that, your body needs time to rest and heal. And then you have to take care of the kid too, right? That's kind of the same situation, except it's not. Instead, you're breastfeeding a fucking 36-year-old loser. Now, whenever I first saw this story, I immediately thought to myself, like, these people gotta look like some straight-up backwoods hippos, six toes having ass people. I mean, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. They gotta look like freaks of nature. And I gotta say, they, they kinda don't, right? They look like an average couple that you'd see at the grocery store. Hell, you might even be working with some of these people. So yeah, that kinda threw me off. I, I really thought we would've been looking at something more along the lines of this. Anyways, let's get into the article here, fellas. A woman has quit her job to breastfeed her boyfriend. A mom who gave birth 20 years ago has started breastfeeding again, only this time around, it's her boyfriend she's nursing. Yep, the most unusual story of the day award goes to Jennifer, who according to The Sun, has decided to quit her job so she can breastfeed her boyfriend, bodybuilder Brad. 
bad. So I'm sure after reading that passage, you guys have some questions. I know that I sure as hell do. Like, don't get me wrong. I like sucking on tits just as much as the next guy, but I'm not necessarily trying to get a drink whenever I'm doing that. And like never in a million fucking years would I encourage my wife to quit her job so I can just lay around in a fucking diaper and suck some tits all day. I get it. It's fun. But like there's no reason to do this all fucking day and night. Go get a job, you lazy ass. The 36-year-old from Atlanta first came across a website about adult breastfeeding relationships when she was single. When I read about the bond breastfeeding could create between two people, I was envious. After reuniting with her former childhood sweetheart Brad, she decided to broach the idea with him. It was like a light switch flicked in his head. I could tell from his voice that he was curious and excited. She believes adult breastfeeding will create a magical bond between the couple that only breastfeeding can achieve. Meanwhile, Brad, a self-confessed gym buff, hopes the regular nursing sessions will have health benefits that could give his body a boost. Okay, so now it's finally starting to make sense. He's not quite as weird as I fucking thought, but it's still, it's kind of out there, man. It's a little weird, you know? It's kind of like watching that Bella Delphine video where the teddy bear's fucking her. Like, it's, it's imagination. I get it. Some people are into it. But, like, you can't deny it's a little fucking weird, you know? It's not necessarily something you'd want to do in front of your father. Maybe not something you'd go tell all your boys that you're into. I will say, I am glad that Brad is in it for a good reason. I mean, he's just here trying to get some goddamn gains and I am all about getting on the fucking gain train. But like, I don't know, man. Couldn't you just take creatine like the normal 16-year-old trying to get some bigger muscles? And also, can we talk about this magical bond between someone sucking on my fucking nipples? Yeah, I don't fucking get this, okay? It's one thing if it's a baby, like you fucking made that thing, you know? It's it's a little bit of a different situation. But when it comes to your 36-year-old boyfriend who told you to quit your job so he can suck on your nips I just ain't really catching your drift right there. There's something about a 36-year-old man sucking on me. I just, I don't really like that thought, all right? You guys know how, like, all these feminists are always fighting that they want the right to breastfeed their children in public. Could you imagine if, like, one day you were taking a girl to a date at Applebee's and the couple sitting across from you just so happens to have her fucking tits out and her husband sucking on them? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like one really good way to find yourself up on the news. Though the couple claim to be proud of their ABR, they only breastfeed in the privacy of their own home. Oh, thank God, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of worried little Timmy is gonna be coloring with crowns at the restaurant one day, and then douchebag bodybuilder Brad's gonna come in and steal the show. Man, I'm so thankful little Timmy does not have to go through that. I come home from a very stressful day, and seconds after Brad latching on, I feel a sense of peace and calm. For that time, I feel like we become one. I have yet to feel anything more comforting, explains Jennifer. It's a bond that no one can come between. All right, first off, Jennifer, what do you mean you come home after a stressful day? Like, you ain't even got a fucking job anymore. All you have to do is produce milk. Like, I don't fucking understand what's the issue here. You gotta put mail in the mailbox. That's what makes your day stressful now. I would also like to know what douchebag Brad does for a living. Like, did they downgrade to a mobile trailer home? Or was D-bag Brad able to afford the same home? You know, these are questions I would like to have the answer to. Now, one thing I will say is that Jennifer goes, like, way off in the fucking distance here, talking about how she feels a real connection whenever Brad's latched on. Listen, I don't give a fuck about that okay that shit's stupid it's one thing if it's your child this is a full-grown man it's like the same equivalent if brad were to walk around the house in a fucking diaper he shits his pants and bends over and says all right babe time to clean me up like that's not fucking pleasing it's not cute it's fucking disgusting actually now douchebag brad may say he's only in it for the gains but i'm not gonna lie i ain't really buying that I feel like there's a little bit more going on behind the scenes that Brad ain't really willing to explain. All right, so I just went out and did some research because I was actually curious, like, is this a real thing? People are actually drinking titty milk now? And the answer is yes, all right? Within the bodybuilding community, this has actually become a big thing.
saying within the last couple years. I guess there's a lot of grown men out here sucking on some titties, which is great. I, I encourage that and I'm all behind that movement, but I guess a lot of bodybuilders believe that breast milk is actually a great way to get some protein. Listen guys, I read through like five different articles and I'm not even kidding because this was actually kind of interesting. Breast milk is in no way, shape, or form any healthier than cow's milk. In fact, you're actually getting three times less the protein. According to Men's Health, Dr. Sarah A. Keem came out and said, could breast milk help you build even more muscle? I don't think anyone knows and it's never been studied, but you're all going on is very rare anecdotes from online forums. Is it possible? Of course. Is it likely? No. And everything else I've seen online tends to point in that exact same direction. It's just simply not as good as drinking something else. Maybe these guys just really like the taste of it or maybe even the smell of the milk. I don't fucking know, dude. I just know it's weird as shit. You might as well wear a fucking diaper and suck on a goddamn binky. I mean, it's whatever at the end of the day. You know, you do what you want to do, but if you're into this, just stay the fuck away from me, please. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Abimanyu Sharon, Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I fucking appreciate the hell out of you. Your support means everything to me. If you watching this video right now would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Subjugated majority. Um, because we're so afraid of the punitive rage that's going to come. But the thi and that's the fear you're expressing. And I know it. I know it. And it's what's being talked about on Twitter. All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Fellas, I don't even need to say anything, and I'm sure you can take a guess at what I'm thinking. I don't even need to say it, and you just you just know. like It's, it's right there on your screen. There's literally no way you could miss that thing. I'm not going to lie. It's almost like I'm staring at some sort of optical illusion. Something here is just like tripping my brain up. Anyways, I thought we could sit there and listen to that feminist speak, but then I realized I'd lose all my viewers. Like, no, no one wants to sit around and watch that. So instead, I have a different video for you guys today we're gonna be taking a look at a 35 year old man that has never been I'm not gonna lie I feel kind of bad for this guy at the moment I've only watched about 30 seconds so far and I thought this is prime content this is what the people need to hear and watch this guy's had a bit of a rough go around when it comes to women okay he's 35 he's a little on the mature side but you know he's still he's in a good prime time stage of his life at the moment he ain't never been up in them walls bro not once, not a single time. In fact, he got told he was actually the ugliest person to walk this earth. She goes, you have got to be the ugliest guy in the, no, dude, you, I know you probably don't believe me, but. No way she responds. Yeah, like, it, it's. Who responds like Now, I'm not gonna lie, he might be a 35 year old virgin and collect wrestling action figures, but he does not deserve that kind of discredit, okay? Clearly, whatever woman told him that has never seen a Discord mod before. Anyways, guys, if you happen to enjoy the content today, please be sure to leave a like on the video. One like equals one boost of confidence to this man right here, and he needs all the confidence in the world, okay? Okay, let's make my man not a virgin by the time he has his 40th birthday, please. Anyways, guys, without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. Uh, I have to do this because my mom said it was essential. I have to have gum, so my breath smells like kind of nice. Okay. So, so are you working right now? I, uh, I am not working right now, uh, but I do, um, I do like... A lot of like streaming video games. Do you okay. do you watch video? Do you like video games? I play some video games. I haven't Both. in a while. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, very nervous, I don't know if you can tell. You look a little nervous, but that's okay. Yeah. We all get nervous sometimes. Yeah. I'm not usually, you know, in these types of situations either. So it's normal to get a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but do you do you like video games? 
All right, so that was possibly the worst start to anything I've ever seen in my life. Hell, you could be down 50 to nothing in a football game in the first quarter, and you would have had a better start than this man right here. Like, let's be honest, the only reason you're even here right now is because you're trying to get a woman to stick her tongue in your mouth, and right before you meet her, you tell her how bad your breath stinks and you need some gum to make it not smell as bad. Or you could have just brushed your goddamn teeth before you came to to a date like dude this gotta be a fucking prank bro I, I swear to god no no one actually intentionally does that right like like right the only thing that may have possibly went in his favor right here is the fact he pulled out a nintendo switch bitches love animal crossing now i don't know if that's enough to get you laid but it's at least a step in the right direction for some for some you know definitely not all but i wouldn't necessarily push the video game agenda here you asked her like five times so do you like like video games you like video like it's really fucking annoying to women do not do not force anything all right another thing i'd like to point out is how he mentions that he's nervous now this isn't necessarily like a terrible thing but don't don't ever fucking say that okay if you are a beta soy boy which this guy you know let's be real okay i'm not gonna beat around the bush i understand he's not like an alpha dude he's not walking around hallways with his head up hell he's probably staring at his feet when he passes by his co-workers it's awesome awkward it is what it is like i understand that you're nervous and if you make the woman know that you are nervous like sometimes you'll get some sympathy out of that it's not a good look though okay unless it's a woman that thinks like fedoras and anime are super cute it's it's just probably not gonna go your way you know now this woman never actually states whether she would date this man or not however she does say it wasn't really interesting to her how she had to lead the conversation she likes a man that takes initiative she likes a dude that has a big Big dick okay again she never came out and publicly stated like i wouldn't even fucking look at that man again if you made me but it wasn't necessarily like a oh i can't wait to meet him again kind of thing well whatever let's just move on to the next girl and let's hope that things go better hey hi how are you pretty good let me just say real what's quick what's your name I'm so sorry miguel miguel, miguel. Maria. yeah I'm so sorry. I'm just. It's fine. What are you playing? Uh, Civilization Six. Have you ever played that before? No. What is that? It's just. It's a game where you're. Just... You play this all the time? I do. Okay. It's you a, don't play any other games? Mind if I just leave it there? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I, I. Well, first of all, you're really pretty. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Would you, in an alternate universe, ever date the guy? Yes no. or no? All right, now I know that feeling that fathers feel when they watch their kids play baseball, but like they really fucking suck at the sport. They couldn't even hit a ball if they took fucking steroids. I now know what that feels like, okay? It's not good. It's, it's not good at all, bro. Like I would talk about everything he did wrong here, but I ain't got fucking time for that, okay? This video would be an hour long. What did he do right here? Fucking nothing. Literally nothing whatsoever. Clearly this woman was a little more on the attractive side and he just got overwhelmed. It was way too fucking much for me. Couldn't believe what was actually sitting in front of him. I don't know this poor guy's name, but I'm beginning to think that his only chance of ever getting a woman is to just make a fuck ton of money. Like, that's it. He's just gonna have to pay him to like him. Uh, How are you? Pretty good. What's your name? My name is Miguel. What is your nice name? Nice to meet you. My name's Ashley. Ashley. Wow, you have a really pretty name and you're really pretty too. Thank you. <laughs> Do you like video games? I love video games. I don't really play video games. You don't play video games? No. Do you mind if I give you like a hug? Just like a hug goodbye? Um, Is sure. Is that alright? Is that okay, guys? Alright. All right, so this was one of the slightly better starts. It's not perfect by any means necessary, but for someone in his league, it was pretty good, right? That was that was the best we've seen out of Miguel so far. And after having about 15 good seconds of conversation, you just fucking threw it all away. What the hell are you actually doing out there, you fucking idiot, man? Like, stop with the fucking video games, man. If women play games, it's because they make money streaming it on Twitch with their tits out. They don't actually play games unless it's Animal Crossing for fun, you know? Like, it's just not a thing. Give it up. If she's hot, 
I swear to God, I better never hear you mention video games again. I'm not even trying to be mean here, but this guy, he needs some help, okay? He seriously needs, like, a dating coach. I know 13-year-olds that have better fucking game than this guy. It's sad. It's really pathetic. Clearly, his parents, they didn't give a fuck about him. And I feel bad for the man. I actually do. Hell, I would give him some fucking advice if I knew him. Seems really nice. I like her because she says that uh, her mom is her best friend. Yeah, my mom is uh, it's my best friend too. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, we hang out all the time. Um, yeah. She's actually, uh, she went to WrestleMania with me. Oh, really? In Florida, yeah. That's yeah, cool. it was really nice. WrestleMania, that's what my baby brother likes. All right, I've seen enough. I can't take, I can't take this shit anymore, man. This is so bad. My stomach fucking hurts from watching this. I'm not gonna lie. Some guys, they're just born with this. It's almost like winning the genetic lottery. This man, however, did not. In fact, he got, he got fucked in five different ways. There, there's nothing successful he did here today. It's all weird. He has no women that like him. <laughs> so sad to say. It actually fucking, I almost shed a tear just even saying that. I will say... I think a good thing for Miguel is that a lot of this, it could be taught. You know, he needs some repetition. He needs some practice with women. I mean, even if it's just talking to him, it seems like he's not even comfortable talking to girls. And at the age of 35, I think that's just simply unacceptable. Now, one thing I would like to point out, I feel like sometimes they made some more attractive women go in there and talk to him for failure, right? Like for the video. They want this guy to fail a couple times. It's going to be funny, cringy, whatever. With that being said, those are not the women he should be pursuing, all right? He needs to be looking on Reddit, on Discord. There are girls out there. There are some fucking freaks of nature out there that are single. They're into, like, Dark Lords and Dungeons and Dragons and shit. Those are the girls that would be in your league. Hell, those would probably be, like, an easy score for my guy Miguel. I mean, like, I wouldn't go as far to say, you know, Miguel's gonna be out here fucking slaying Poon in a couple weeks. Not only is that unrealistic, but it's also just wishful thinking. It's never going to happen. You just gotta face it. But if you were to say that Miguel works on himself, his personal hygiene, his character, uh, looking women in the fucking eyes and talking to him, I think he would make some good progress just off those couple points alone. And on top of that, if he has a friend that actually knows how to speak to girls, I'm sure Miguel could easily find himself a girlfriend. It's, it's really not that difficult, if I'm being honest. It's just difficult to get a good one. You know, like that's the issue everyone runs into eventually. Guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to lie. This was one of the most fun I've ever had making a video. This might be my greatest video to date. You guys will have to let me know down in the comment section below. But also, I would like to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Abimanyu, Sharon, Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Bird man archive and joseph guys i appreciate the fucking hell out of your support it means everything to me if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time also leave a like on the video to get this man miguel fucking laid all right let's let's not forget that i'll catch you guys next time later we got a lot of work to do I, I, I see the problem. Do you see the problem? Do you feel the problem or no? I, I think I'm talking about all the things that I like. I, I don't see any problems. Okay. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas i apologize if i sound a little off i'm a little shook up at the moment to be honest all right i just went through one of the most traumatic experiences i've ever had bro this was truly life-changing like it just happened all so quick I was, I was sitting there on my bed on twitter you know just scrolling through my feed next thing i know the walls are shaking my roof is collapsing in dust is flying down from the sky and i'm losing my goddamn mind and then it hit me this is what was going on
Anyways, if we take a look at the Richter scale here, I can now cross off my bucket list surviving a magnitude 8 earthquake. I'm telling you guys though, that was not a very pleasant experience. I honestly felt like I was stuck inside a vibrator and I just didn't know when it was going to end. Meanwhile, Lizzo's back here twerking her ass off for Twitter and I was watching my life flash before my eyes. When Lizzo decides to throw that dump truck in reverse, you can actually see the windows rippling a little bit and that's from the weight that's being distributed from her fat ass to the floor and then to the wall where the windows are all i'm gonna say about her ass bro is you guys know those bleachers you sit in like during a high school assembly after a couple hours man your ass gets numb like like numb numb like when you stand up you gotta grab your own ass cheek just to make sure it's still there lizzo don't have that problem bro all right she can sit on them bleachers all goddamn day <laughs> ain't nothing affecting that now I know some of you guys are gonna disagree with me here, and that's totally fine, but like how much ass is too much ass, you know what I'm saying? Like where do we draw that line? I really don't believe Lizzo can walk into a Walmart and just pick up a normal pair of jeans like the rest of us. I truly feel like she has to have a custom fit pair of pants just to slide them over that fucking badonkadonk. I ain't even trying to be rude when I say this, but when Lizzo takes a shit and she gotta wipe her ass, bro, she gotta shove her fist like six inches up in there just to get to the crack, you know what I'm saying? Also, I like how Lizzo captioned the video just some light twerking. I'm sorry, but there ain't nothing light in this video whatsoever. Now, I know some of you fellas out there are gonna disagree with me. You think fat chicks are the greatest thing next to sliced bread, and I think that's great. Honestly, I fucking applaud you for that because someone needs Needs to love these big girls all right if you want to go to mcdonald's every night and eat some chicken nuggets under the sunset together you know just sit out there in the park and have a nice little picnic you do you bro that's all up to you that ain't none of my business however i just prefer some girls that can walk up a flight of stairs and not need an oxygen mask however when it comes to lizzo things seem to be a little bit different and i mean it's kind of for a good reason lizzo seems to have the mental capacity of a 14 year old girl going through puberty and and what I mean by that is one day she's out here preaching to the public like you guys need to respect fat women and us plus size models. Like she's literally the type of woman to try and wear a bikini to a public pool just to get some attention, just to try and spread some body positivity in the world. Like she's the type of person to claim that she's a bad bitch and has all the confidence in the world to wear a bikini. And then a couple hours later, she's crying on Instagram live complaining about how people are calling her fat. And honestly, that's kind of why I think Lizzo's really just getting what she deserves. You shouldn't go to a grocery store and next time a larger woman walks in, you don't just point at her and be like, oh my god, I'm surprised you actually made it through that fucking doorway. I thought we were gonna have to put some butter on the sides and push you from behind. Like, that's not really something you do, you know? Not everyone is proud to be fat, but whenever you're trying to push this fat phobic, you know, I'm fat as fuck, but you need to accept me and I'm, I'm healthy in every way possible. Like, shut the fuck up. No, you're not, okay? Your arteries are literally begging. They are pleading for you to take an extra lap around the grocery store and not buy five fucking gallons of ice cream today. Anyways, I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say here. Basically, fat girls don't deserve to be made fun of just because they're fat. Like, you never know what someone's really going through. But like Lizzo, on the other hand, you know, if you're so confident in your body, why are you fucking crying about 12-year-olds telling you you're fat on TikTok? I, I really don't understand that. Yeah. Anyways, with Lizzo posting this video, she obviously got a lot of troll comments. Like, look what this fucking fool actually had the audacity to say. He goes, I'ma need dudes to stop acting like they don't like big girls. If she ain't too something, we ain't doing nothing. This guy actually lives his life by that phrase, if she ain't 280, she ain't a lady. Listen up, buddy, okay? When I'm in the bedroom with another woman doing a little bit of the sexy time, I like when they can actually move their body around and I don't need a two-ton crane to fucking get him into a new position. And obviously, no hate here because, I mean, let's be real. Someone has to take one for the team. Someone's gonna need to buy a truck instead of a car just to get their girlfriend home from dinner. And I would much rather that be you than me because I don't know if you guys have seen the price of, like, a new F-350. Bro, if you're trying to haul some cattle around, it it's gonna be expensive, bro. Like, the price of a small fucking house, alright? And then we got another response from some other cuck lord here 
here on Twitter, and I'm going to try and read this in the voice I imagine this guy speaks in. You guys all in here with these mean comments? It's hatred, anger, and judgment that gets people fat and keeps them fat. You can say no, it's the food, etc. But when you are surrounded by an unloving culture, you just keep eating is what you do. She's got way more confidence than you. All right, bro, we get it. You want to fuck Lizzo. I hope she sees this message, but like, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here. You think Lizzo's just going to hit you in the DMs and be like, hey, what time do I need to come over tonight? Also, this is a fucking spit in my face, okay? This is an insult to my IQ here. Like, this dumbass really tried to sit here and tell us Lizzo's not fat, guys, because she eats a lot of food. She's a little heavy because she's surrounded by unloving people. No, no, I don't think that's how it fucking works, okay? If you are fat, how about just don't take in 5,000 fucking calories a day of brownies and ice cream, and maybe, just maybe you'll see a little bit of a different result in your physique. If she's really surrounded by a bunch of unloving people, then to me, that just sounds like she got more time to be on the treadmill. And you know, sometimes people are wrongly called fat, like someone could be 5 pounds overweight and still be getting called fat nowadays. That person is obviously nowhere near being obese, they're in good shape, if they were to just eat a couple less calories for a week they'd be looking pretty good you know that's not the case here for Lizzo okay that is far from the truth here and like I'm not even being mean when I say this bro if she doesn't do something about her weight she's gonna have heart problems by the time she's like 40 you can sit here and try to preach to me all you want about how being fat is the new healthy science doesn't say that though and as a goddamn doctor I am a man of the fucking science I will be damned if someone goes against my word in the medical community anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members we have abimanyu sharon dragon flares nico dirt grub danny kemper omg it's birdman archive and joseph Guys, I appreciate the fucking hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. All you gotta do is click that blue join button right next to my name. Uh, but more importantly though, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, the other day I think I stumbled upon a new subgenre on YouTube and I'm just here to tell you guys it's not looking good, okay? You thought there was a lot of thoughts out there right now? Oh boy. Oh my god, you just wait, fellas. I'm telling you, you just wait. So the other day, I was browsing YouTube looking for something to react to, and I stumbled upon a channel that was dedicated to trying on new pants. And I mean, it kind of makes sense. Sometimes you're gonna buy pants on Amazon. The pictures, they don't really match what it looks like on your body. You want to get a better image, so you go to YouTube, okay? I've never done it personally. It's kind of weird. I'm not really sure how many dudes are out here trying to check that the ass is a first fit and some boot cut jeans from Amazon but I mean it makes sense this was a channel dedicated to women's yoga pants now you got you guys already know where I'm going from here right let's just say for instance that this woman wears a typical medium yoga pants she was definitely putting on some like extra smalls bro like that shit was quite literally ripping in front of my eyes however there's a catch to this guys there's more than just trying on some yoga pants Whenever she would take off one pair of pants and she was going to put on the next, the camera didn't cut. In fact, she just stood there in her underwear and you could see her ass cheeks hanging out while she was preparing to put on the next pair of pants. And then it finally hit me. Now I understand why all these yoga pants reviews are actually getting some fucking traction on YouTube. Honestly, I couldn't fucking believe what I was watching because I'm not kidding when I say this, bro, it could have been a fucking piece of yarn between the mass cheeks. Like, there definitely wasn't much 
much there and I don't know if this is some sort of exploit for those of you that don't know you are not allowed to be naked on YouTube unless you are doing yoga that's right you can actually do fucking naked yoga on YouTube and it's perfectly fine and as all of this was going down I was just sitting there thinking to myself like damn I hope to god I never have a fucking daughter you know back in the day like hundreds of years ago if a girl showed her elbow she like damn near got fucking executed right little much it's a little far to take things there but nowadays like bro you can you can do anything like these girls they don't give a fuck anymore right it doesn't even have to be for money like it's one thing to make money from showing the goods on the internet but some of these girls bro they just do it for attention now i'm gonna show you guys an example of this but before i do i want to make something clear i gotta blur this ass out bro okay it's taken up damn near three-fourths of the screen at one point these cheeks are out like i'm i'm saying out out you know like i swear to god bro when she turns around them ass cheeks be so close to the camera you could damn near sniff that thing Alright, after watching that video, I want you guys to kind of keep that in the back of your mind. Next time a woman claims that she doesn't want to be treated like an object, just pull this shit out, bro. Alright, just show her this video. I tell you guys what, I'm currently working on the book of thought elation, so if you ever need to reference this again, just turn to the book of Big Booty Bitches, chapter 11, verse 4, and this will be right there whenever you guys need it, alright? Nah, but for real, man, clearly this woman got tired of getting no views. In fact, she uploads a video with no makeup, clearly no cleavage, and more importantly talking about how she's getting a divorce. That lands her 1400 views, right? Like, n no one gives a shit about you at that point, but you want to pull out your tits a little bit and you're going to get yourself 190,000 views. Again, that's great. Congratulations on getting the attention you asked for, but I mean, like, come on, clearly... <laughs> No one cares about you. They're not there for your personality. And actually, there's a song that once said, I can't put my penis in your personality, and I can't shove my fist in your college degree. Those might be the truest words I've ever heard. In fact, I live my life day by day in reference to that fucking quote, okay? Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make here is that some of these women want to be respected. And that's great. There are women out there that deserve respect, However, sadly, you're just not one of them, okay? Again, you know, you did something great. You exploited your body for 190,000 views. And I'm sure it felt great explaining to your shitty co-workers at the daycare how you were able to get so much attention over the weekend. But every now and then, it's a good decision to just take a step back and ask yourself the question, would my father be proud of me doing this? Would my grandpa think that I'm doing great things in the world right now? I would hope to God the answer is no, unless there's some sweet home Alabama going on here but honestly I couldn't even imagine being a parent in today's society right like you save up like 30 to 50 thousand fucking dollars just for your child to go to college and this is what they do with that money now I'm not saying everyone needs to be an astrophysicist but you know is this what your father really had in mind probably not all right anyways guys I got another one I'm gonna show you and I'm covering this one the fuck up all right, no excuses here. Susan, we're great. We're doing good right now. I would really like to keep things that way at the moment, but more importantly, dude, I'm not convinced this girl is 18 years of age. In fact, she looks like fucking 14. This is disgusting. This is what's happening now in today's society. These young girls, right? These, these young fucking females are out here posting TikToks with their asshole hanging out. Anyways, this girl's gonna be in a bikini. However, the bottoms that she's wearing, bro, I swear to fucking God, if she were to like cough or sneeze, them roast beef curtains, they're hanging all the way out. And like I said, she doesn't look 18 years old. I'm cover I'm covering this up, man. Anyways, there you guys have it. I I I don't even know where the fuck to start on this one, bro. This one this one's just so different because of the age scenario, right? Like guys, before TikTok, before Snapchat and all these other Zoomer apps, you honestly didn't have to worry about this too much, right? Like you might see a younger girl in a bikini on Facebook, but it's at like her friend's birthday party or maybe she's actually in a pool, you know? Something crazy. I, I know it's it's actually really fucking difficult to wrap your mind around a woman 
in a bikini, but she's like actually in a pool, not some basic ass fucking kiddie pool in her living room. Anyways, the point that I'm trying to make here is that if you're a young man in the dating scene right now, bro, I fucking feel for you. In fact, I am praying for you at the moment because it feels like in our current day and time, it's really difficult to tell the difference between a 14 year old and hell, like even some girls that are up to 20 years old. Sometimes you just can't fucking tell a difference nowadays, bro. And the thing is, you never know when this may go against you, right? Like one day you might be hanging out at the pool with your boys. You see a girl, she's got some tits on her. She's like five foot seven, looks pretty built like she plays sports. And your boys are like, hey man, you should go over there. You should talk to that girl. Go get her number. And you walk over there, you start flirting with her a little bit. And then she hits you with the, <clears throat> hey man, I'm only 11. That's going to be a very fucking bad day, all right? For you, for her, and for her fucking father when he comes and kicks your ass. Anyways, fellas, if you are in the dating scene right now, I just want to let you know, like, don't stoop to this level. It's one thing, if you're just trying to get your dick wet, it is what it is, you know? At that point, standards get lowered a little bit. But if you're trying to find a long-term girl to stay with for the rest of your life, I'm here to tell you, you ain't gotta be with some goddess TikTok bikini girl that's always looking for approval from some of her simp lords on TikTok. Like, you ain't gotta put up with that shit, bro. I'm sure you guys understand now why I'm always talking about hot moms and why I find them so much more attractive. Anyways, guys, I think I'm out of time for today's video. I appreciate everyone watching. Now, I will say, I got a new intro for you guys today. Please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. I just plan on mixing it in every now and then. Obviously, I'm going to keep the pig on the moon. Everyone seems to love the goddamn pig on the moon, and I'm thankful for that. But yeah, let me know if this is just straight dog shit or if I should throw it in every now and then. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Abimanyu, Sharon, Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG, it's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the fucking hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself watching this video right now, you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me, and I will catch you guys next time later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Fellas, I just want you guys to know that I am currently in the process of starting a new job and I'm also moving at the same time. So if I'm only uploading once or twice a week at the moment, I'm not quitting or anything like that. It's just, you know, maybe I don't have internet and I gotta drive to fucking McDonald's and sit in their parking lot to upload a goddamn video. Anyways, anyways, guys, if you're a cisgender man or woman watching this video right now, you're probably probably a bigot and it's time to fucking educate yourself i guarantee fucking t you didn't make a single post on your facebook account about international pronouns day hell i'm gonna take a good fucking guess here and say you don't even know when international pronouns day is do you and if that's you right now i just want to say congratulations you actually have a goddamn brain like dude i swear to god i have never once heard of international pronouns day until this fucking year Normally, the month of October is known for being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Where the fuck did that go? I haven't heard shit about breast cancer this year. Like, instead of promoting a good cause that actually prevents women from fucking dying, advertising agencies are really just like, fuck it, let's make sure everyone's called the right pronoun this year, because God, I would hate for someone to be fucking offended. Anyways, I thought I would go out of my way to do a little bit of research, and not the good research, not that one thing we always look forward to before we go to bed. Unfortunately, this is much worse. We're going to be taking a look at why respecting pronouns is so important. Anyways, guys, if you happen to enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into it. I use they and them as my pronouns. And when someone uses they and them as my pronouns, I feel like that person is listening to me. That person cares about me and that person wants to have a conversation with me.
All right, stop. Are we being serious? Is this a real video? This gotta be fake, man. Like, what the hell is you wearing right now, bro? If your future employer sees this video right now, are they gonna be proud to hire you? Anyways, you guys know what? I'm gonna keep an open mind while watching the rest of this video, and I'm just gonna listen to whatever the hell this thing is, tell me how it feels. That judgment could be wrong. And so I think the hard part is to change perspective. Now, this isn't asking you to run a marathon. This is you saying that you want to be respected in a specific way, and I can do that for you by using a pronoun. All right, fellas, let me remove all the bigotry out of my life at the moment. Let's explain the issue with pronouns. So take a look at the person in the middle of the picture here. I mean, the thing just looks like a normal human, right? If you were to approach this person, you know, on the sidewalk at a grocery store, you wouldn't really think twice about pronouns or that they even care about being called the correct pronoun. Because in this setting right here, he looks like a normal guy. However, if you were to see that exact same person at the grocery grocery store, but they were dressed like this? Obviously, you can tell there's a mental illness going on up inside that brain. You should probably be pretty careful, you know? I wouldn't even say a fucking pronoun, because you don't know. You don't fucking know. Like, it should be mandated by fucking law. If you want to be called this exact pronoun, you need to have that shit embedded in your fucking forehead or tattooed or something. Something to where I can just look at you and say, oh, you want to be called this? Like, here, I'll give you guys an example. You don't know what to call this guy, right? He just looks like a normal dude. Dude. But if he had that shit imprinted on his forehead, you might walk up to him and say, Oh, hello, ball sack liquor. I hope you're having a great day today. Do you guys see how the scenario changes? Because then you don't have to dance around the fucking mental illness, right? It's just present. It's there. You know what they want to be called, and they're proud to wear that fucking pronoun around. And it's a win-win for everyone, really. Use my gender-neutral pronouns, and I can respectfully use theirs, then I think we're going to be in a world where everyone can be respected and everyone has the responsibility to be respectful. Alright bro, come on, can we stop fucking playing here? At least shave the goddamn pedo stash. Anyways, I just watched this entire video and that's now three minutes of my life. I'll never get back and that's actually pretty unfortunate because I could have done a lot better things with those three minutes. So obviously, I can't show the full video within my video, otherwise it's gonna get copyrighted and shit. But don't worry, I'll summarize it for you guys. It's actually, it's gonna be pretty quick, trust me. So this they them thing here um, basically just said, the reason we should respect each other's pronouns is in order to be respectful to one another. That's it. That was the fucking video. There wasn't any reasoning. There was no examples. Like, unfortunately, this video just fucking sucked. It is what it is. I would have had more respect for this person if they would have came out and said, we don't want to piss off any of the LGBTQ. We don't want to offend any sensitive ass pussies out here in the world nowadays. I would have had more respect for him if he came out and just said that phrase right there, gave us some examples, you know, whatever. Obviously, some kids are getting bullied for this and shit. Make an example out of that, right? Like, at least give us an idea of why we should respect each other's pronouns but you didn't do that in fact you failed and another thing that failed was this poor baby's parents take a look at this post they made here on Facebook happy international pronouns day we are choosing to use male pronouns for now with our little one and cannot wait to know his truth as he grows up our baby has a penis Yay, but for now we'll call him he, but in the future we can't wait to see what is in his heart he knows to be, no matter he, she, they, z. One thing will forever be true. The post fucking cut off there. They couldn't even make the goddamn post right. Now I will say, I like this concept better than some of the other ones I've seen. Sometimes these women will push babies out of their fucking vaginas and just immediately assign it pronouns. Like hell, they'll look at it and be like, okay, this thing has a penis. It's gonna go by ZZim. 
though, okay? They don't want to be identified with the rest of you stupid fucks. So that pisses me off a lot more whenever the parents are forcing the children to change their pronouns. Like, at least give the kid a fucking chance, you know what I'm saying? If the kid approaches you as a parent and says they want to do something else about their identity, that's one thing, I guess. But don't fucking force your child into being a pronoun that they don't even want to fucking be, you know what I'm saying? Either way you look at this video right now, I think we can all agree, times are just fucking weird at the moment. No one knows what the hell to really call someone. Hell, they don't even know what the fuck to call themselves. Like, your coworker could literally just walk into work and say, hey, you know, today I want to be called they, them, and then tomorrow they want to be called a fucking Sagittarius or something. Like, there's no real establishment for how we're actually supposed to respect these people and someone needs to grow some goddamn balls and come up with a good system that actually works because right now at the moment it just doesn't what we're doing in life right now playing 20 questions every time some woman has a fucking beard it just doesn't really work out well anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members we have abimanyu sharon dragon flares nico dirt grub danny kemper omg it's birdman archive and joseph guys i appreciate the fucking hell out of your support it means everything to me if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the mills with me and i will catch you guys next time later Fuck, i'm stunned thank you <laughs> Yo, Bro, that's using cool these guns? That's mad weird. This is oh real God. weird, actually. Mad weird, dude. Like, he threw a uh, stun, on them, and killed him, and then he died? Yeah. That's fucking oh, weird, bro. Oh, bro that's that's, weird. Man, that's mad weird, fuck. dude. Oh. <laughs> that's good nice. shit. Wow. Socks, oh, I agree. Man, what do you mean, weird. how? It's mad weird that you want to know how. Right? You saw that? Yo, fucking you weird, fucking bro. Weird yeah, look how weird you guys too. are. Look how weird this is. This is. Oh, my God. That's weird, weird bro. That's fucking weird. Fucking weirdos. You guys are weirdos, bro. Get these weirdos out of my lobby. Alright, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Fellas, today we're gonna be taking a look at the feminist cafe that went out of business. I'm sure most of you guys have at least heard of this restaurant. Back in 2017, it actually went pretty viral on the internet. It was best known for charging an 18% man tax. So that way, if your wife happens to have blue hair and be approximately 385 pounds, built like Brian Erlacher out here, you guys can go take a nice little trip to the Feminist Cafe. And the best part about that is you're out here fighting the wage gap too, right? Like, you, you don't want to make more money than women just because you're a man. That doesn't make any sense. Instead, you go to the cafe, you pay your bill, you pay a little bit extra simply just because you're a man. Hell, you could make less fucking money than the people working at the restaurant, but you still got to pay the tax, you know, because you're, you're part of the patriarchy. Like, congratulations, you fucking cuck. I I hope that makes you feel good about yourself. Bro, if you have the extra money, at least spend it on like some OnlyFans chick and get a couple nuts out of it. You know what I'm saying? You might as well put your money to good use. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get straight into it. A lesbian-owned vegan coffee shop in Brunswick, Australia that made international headlines in 2017 for charging a voluntary 18 percent man tax yeah that's a bunch of bullshit by the way that that was not a voluntary thing okay you don't walk into a restaurant and willingly pay extra money for the food like come on guys let's not backtrack now you know now that we're going out of business let's not make it look like oh it was voluntary whatever they're closing their doors they weren't in business very long and it makes sense right it doesn't exactly take a rocket scientist to figure out well if i exclude essentially 50 percent of the population unless you're selling like hair products or makeup you know 
know, you're just not necessarily going to make it as a restaurant only serving 50% of the community. That's just, it doesn't really work like that. Handsome Her, which opened as a space for women by women, received backlash for what critics called reverse sexism. The cafe asked male patrons upon checkout if they wanted to pay an optional surcharge meant to represent the gender pay gap and offered female patrons priority seating. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Who the fuck be out here walking into a restaurant like- I mean, clearly nobody since it's going out of business. But, like, even if the roles were reversed here, bro, if you're disrespecting a woman and I'm out going on a date, what the hell makes you think I'm gonna walk into a restaurant and let you just give me priority seating while my girl has to stand at the front door by herself? You stupid fucking idiot. You deserve to go out of business at this point, okay? Normally, I am always in the favor of, like, a small business owner. A lot of times, they're just out here trying to make a name for themselves, go home, feed their kids, and take their kids to, like, football practice. These people, on the other hand though like they're literally just getting everything they deserve at this point i mean yeah you did a good job right you went viral for all of a week and everyone thought it was funny and you just got laughed at the entire time no one was actually on your side they weren't laughing with you they were laughing at you and now you guys look like a fucking fool while the business did not confirm or deny rumors of bankruptcy co-owner alexandra o'brien said the handsome her team will continue to pursue its mission to drive change with hands-on work across Australia. O'Brien said allegations of sexism only proved how fragile masculinity is and confirmed the need to confront and dismantle the patriarchy. Bro, this is literally that fucking meme of the guy riding the bike and he like sticks the wheel in the spokes and falls over and blames the most obvious thing, right? Like, dude, that is literally this scenario to a T. First, you, you discriminate against men, you want them to pay more, you don't let them sit down first, so then men don't come into the restaurant, you don't make as much money, the restaurant runs out of business and you fucking shut the doors down because you're not bringing in any cash, and then you blame men. Oh, masculinity is so fucking fragile. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. That's why your doors are closing, huh? Also, one thing to take note of here is that when I go out to a restaurant, the only thing that keeps me coming back to them is if the food is good and the service is good. But I have yet to hear a single thing about whether the food was actually good at this restaurant. Have you ever considered that? Maybe instead of making everything so fucking political, you just like, oh, I don't know. Do your fucking job. Make good food, serve people, and let them pay you some money. And that right there, fellas, is why if you ever go to college, you don't stop study fucking gender fluidity and stuff like that. Instead, if you want to be a business owner, it's probably a good idea to get a business degree. Oh my god, I can't believe, I can't believe there are people this fucking stupid in the world, bro. I actually feel bad. The business apparent failure sparked mixed reactions online. While some social media users praised the handsome her team as heroes and lesbian feminist activists, oh my god. God. Oh, fuck. Anyways, um, excuse me. Others called them man-haters and said the cafe's impending closure proved that sexism in business is a bad idea. Wait, there are people that actually have brains in this article? What? No, no, this gotta be fake, man. This gotta be a fake article now. I'm not gonna lie, I would really like to know the individuals that called these people heroes. Like, what's so heroic about opening a dying business? I mean, let's be real, this shit was dead on arrival. It was never going to succeed, right? Most restaurants, they advertise how good their chefs are, how good the food is. This, on the other hand, it's nothing more than a gimmick, alright? Like, maybe your friends might come into the business and hang out once or twice a week. And also, I'm not exactly sure how you were ever going to fucking reach your goals by opening a restaurant. Like, they're so pissed off that cisgender men are making more money than them, but, like, the people you're charging an 18% man tax to are probably not people in positions of power. Do you really think people like Jeff Bezos is walking up in a fucking feminist cafe? <laughs> Instead, you were making dudes named Billy that work in construction for a living. They got to pay the man tax, and they're trying to make up for the wage gap. Yeah, good fucking luck with that, okay? You're not even making a drop in the bucket 
fuck it at that point. And like, if you guys really wanted to try and dismantle the patriarchy, wouldn't you be leading marches and running ad campaigns against like large corporations and shit? Opening a restaurant though, what the fuck is that going to do for you? Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members. We have Abimanyu, Sharon, Dragon Flares, Nico, Dirt Grub, Danny Kemper, OMG It's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the fucking hell out of your support. It means everything to me. If you yourself would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. More importantly though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later. Are you, are you, uh, I can sell. No, I'm done. No. Oh, I can nice. sell. My, oh, you are a fucking Who god, Baloney. Baloney got him. I'm selfing. I'm selfing. Oh, why'd you push that? Oh, god. Oh, right, right in front of us. Oh, in god, why'd you push that? Oh, oh. no. That was a ballsy push, wow. Baloney. Damn, that would have been We were sick. both at like. All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas it's currently november 1st i think we all know what that means here i want to give a huge good luck to everyone participating in no nut november unfortunately i'm not going to be participating here in about three hours it's going to be going down in my bedroom but i just want you brave soldiers to know that even though i'm not going to be participating i'll still stand on the sidelines and i'll cheer you guys on because it's a pretty big accomplishment hell i couldn't even tell you the last time I went longer than like a week. Anyways, fellas, today we're going to be talking about a Florida mom being kicked out of her elementary school just because she does OnlyFans. Now, if I show you guys the visual evidence, I think you'll understand this principle severely fucked up, all right? If I was a father and I found out this woman was volunteering at my child's school, I'd probably have to use like some sick time or vacation day to go volunteer at Little Timmy's school. But I would be really fucking pissed if I took a vacation day and and I went to go volunteer and this woman was oh no oh hell no me and that principal are gonna have a word i will say that victoria has some really really nice evidence i think you guys should look into unfortunately i can't show it here in the video me and susan are we're kind of beefing again right now all right susan is a fucking she doesn't like me like dude some of these girls be out here on youtube wearing a fucking piece of yarn between their pussy lips and that's fine that's perfectly okay but i put addison ray in a bikini and that gets my channel flagged are you fucking susan what the hell is wrong with you anyways guys if you enjoyed today's video and you uh you like hot moms with big tits because we all fucking like that be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and without wasting any more goddamn time let's get into it a florida mom is vowing to sue a school district for a million dollars after being barred as a volunteer because of her racy OnlyFans content. Victoria Snooks Treese, a 30-year-old mother of two children at an elementary school, was told earlier this month she could no longer take part in the public school's addition volunteer program. After an anonymous letter from a concerned parent outed her, her attorney said Friday. She was stripped of the chance to participate in her children's life Lives with no legal or constitutional justification. Therese had been volunteering in the district for five years and passed a background check to do so. She can no longer volunteer at the school, but is allowed to chaperone on field trips with her five and ten-year-old sons. I want you guys to really think about what was just fucking said right there, right? Like, you pay taxes. You actually pay money to employ these people with doctorate's degrees to run schools, and this is the solution they come up with. I just, I, I don't see how this makes any goddamn sense bro she can't help timmy with some fucking math in the classroom oh but if we go out on a field trip that's perfectly fine where there's 50 other fucking kids running around do you guys remember that streamer from a couple months ago that like used his minecraft or fortnite account to message children and shit yeah take a look at that guy that's probably not the person you want in the classroom full of children right but this woman victoria come on she's harmless bro she passed a background check she's been doing it for five years and now now all of a sudden it's just like no 
No, you're a fucking predator to these children. You know what? I guarantee Victoria's the only reason there's any goddamn volunteers in the first place. I mean, let's be real. Dad actually came back from the grocery store with milk. He ain't sitting there trying to play choo-choo trains. Like, that dad is there for one reason and one reason only, and that's to find his future ex-wife. Anyways, I really don't understand the thought process behind this decision. Like, yeah, you know what? The content she's putting out there on the internet, it might be a little out there. Not necessarily something we're used to seeing in a children's classroom but like just because she enjoys recording herself getting anally fisted doesn't necessarily make her a predator if she was out here like dming these kids on snapchat or instagram or something you know i could understand that that's a boundary you're not supposed to cross but like more importantly she's been doing it for five fucking years and no one's had an issue until now until all of a sudden some stupid ass fucking karen decided you know what fuck this bitch i'm gonna get her out of my son's classroom and i'm gonna save the world i bet that bitch felt fucking good about what she did anyways victoria then goes on to say nobody has the right to judge what other people do for a living i feel judged and so isolated one minute of my job a day is not my whole life it's not my life of being a mom or being a parent tree said adding that other parents at the school are supporting her i think everybody's just floored because they're like we know you we know who you are and i gotta say that is pretty true if i found out a girl i went to high school with opened an only fans i don't give a goddamn how fucking ugly or fat she is i'm buying it hell i'm fucking paying for that shit man i just i just want to see it you know what i'm saying however i mean this is a little bit different she is like actually pretty fucking hot and she's a milf like to me this just sounds like a case of some good old jealousy karen's got saggy tits and you know what she ain't fucking having it anymore all right hell her husband was probably trying to get this girl's phone number unfortunately the article doesn't say anything about like how much money she makes from only fans or how many followers she has or anything but i noticed that she said one minute of my job a day is not my whole life is she implying right there that she only works a minute a day and she just collects a fucking check from that like you're telling me after she drops a hot fucking steamer in the toilet she just snaps a couple pics right quick and she's done that's it that's all she's got to do today now she's got to go down to school and read some books god what a rough life dude that that sounds fucking terrible you couldn't pay me you couldn't pay me to work one minute a day that's sarcasm by the way for those of you people that that can't really understand that anyways i would be shocked if she loses this case in court i don't see why the judge isn't going to look at this and just basically say everything i just said especially i feel like the school made a pretty big mistake by not sending her like an actual letter in the male dismissing her instead she just showed up one day to the school and the principal's like no i don't think you're gonna work here anymore you can just go ahead and go back to your car like i'm pretty sure a couple years ago some kid won a lawsuit for pissing in the wrong bathroom i just don't see how this case is gonna be any different honestly because everyone's trying to be woke nowadays and inclusive and she's coming out here saying that she feels isolated and disrespected i would be pretty shocked if she walks away with anything less than a million dollars from this case but anyways guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i want to give a shout out to my fantastic members we have abimanyu sharon nico dirt grub danny kemper omg it's birdman archive and joseph guys i appreciate the hell out of your support it means everything to me if you yourself would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today more importantly though fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the hot moms and i will catch you guys next time later Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're gonna be taking a look at some nico little simps and my god are they the fucking worst dude they are terrible i'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys i'm not really a fan of nico in the first place like she's literally only relevant because she made some stupid ass tiktok like other than that she's literally just known for eating tacos with her boobs out on twitch like i don't know what to tell you guys she does nothing respectable she's not like an educated woman or anything she's literally a huge hypocrite she's out here saying tax the rich and then you know she shows off her 10 million dollar apartment to her but oh oh i don't want to be taxed though i think only people richer than me should be taxed. like shut the f 
God, that's so annoying. I mean, maybe I'm the crazy one here, fellas, but I'm just saying I got more respect for a single mom doing OnlyFans to put some extra food on the table, opposed to a girl like Nico preaching politics on TikTok. Anyways, Nico recently posted a video on her YouTube channel where she went through some ban appeals on her live stream the other day. This is always a great thing to react to. You know, there's just like, there's a lot of stupid people out there and they say a lot of dumb shit to these girls, man. And I don't know why, but it's always so fucking funny whenever these dudes are like, hey goddess, you look so beautiful today. I wish I could just pay you so much money. And then they don't ever get recognized and they just progressively begin getting more more pissed off by the second and then you know they're just like fuck you you fat ugly bitch like they they lose all self-control man it is the funniest thing to ever watch anyways guys if you enjoy the video please be sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and without wasting any more time let's get into it damn i think you're doing surprisingly well looks like very complicated dish why am i watching some girl make mac and cheese is this cooking for kids yeah i i completely remember that when the inventor of mac and cheese invented mac and cheese he was all like no one under the age of 13 can eat i remember it was in the history books that makes so much so much sense i guess hey okay, well you kids should learn how to cook some healthier food i predict this girl will be very big in 10 years true i guess she'll be very big and very forgotten then why are people watching this why are you watching you're like why are people watching this but you're watching me i'm not gonna lie fellas i actually feel kind of bad at the moment Nico tried her hardest to make a joke there like she was actually trying to be funny and I never even cracked a smile like literally not even in the slightest way possible I mean it's not like anyone actually comes to a Nico stream expecting to get a little bit of humor I mean you guys know what I'm trying to say here right in fact I'm trying to remember that one quote I think it was Alexander Graham Bell he said women are not funny and I gotta say man my boy Alex was fucking right as hell dream it's a complicated dish like what what? Are you good? Sorry for being so negative. That wasn't nice. When I'm texting this from your stream with no makeup on, first time I see that, who cares if I don't have no makeup on? Why even, why even mention that? What do you mean why mention that? People are here for one reason and one reason. Like, they don't give a fuck about the mac and cheese as long as you're turning around bending over. And I'm not even, like, trying to be mean towards Nico or anything like that. It's just, I'm being honest, all right? I'm a realistic person at the end of the day. Like, I really hope Nico doesn't think people are coming to her streams because she's funny and entertaining and also i'm not trying to be mean when i say this but if you guys have seen nico without makeup before it is it's bad bro all right she looks like fucking mike wazowski from monsters inc i'm banned or not i just want to say that you look great even better without the war paint what i huh wait you look at his apology he's all like i'm sorry for being negative i saw you without makeup on so i want to be on ban you look good without makeup on so that's why i'm asking to be on ban peace what a weirdo i'm not gonna lie guys i actually fell asleep about halfway through this video this was the most unentertaining shit i've ever seen in my lifetime hell this was so fucking boring i'm gonna watch it tonight when i need to fall asleep i really don't understand like the reason that these people were getting banned was just fucking lame like there was nothing incelish there was nothing funny about this instead it was just a video full of like young boy twitter accounts that are just trolling how they just like go around everywhere and say you fell off normally nika little simps are pretty fucking bad not quite as bad as like pokimane or anything like that but they're fucking up there bro they're they're pretty special if you know what i'm saying they wear helmets lick windows yeah unfortunately guys i apologize you know what this is like three minutes of our lives we're just we're just never gonna get that back that shit's like a fart in the wind it's just fucking gone instead i feel like over half the video was just her complaining about some dude saying she looks ugly without makeup like i will just simply never understand how the hell you give a shit about anyone else's opinion on this planet when you're sleeping in a 10 million dollar mansion at night like who cares if you look ugly without makeup at least you have a fix for that you just you just fucking wear makeup it's easy as that as for some of these dudes out here that be ugly as shit like they got nothing Nothing, man they're just born ugly and they're gonna fucking die ugly there's no way around that there's nothing they can do to fix it 
Well, um, I guess some advice I would give to Nico is learn something. Whether it's fucking painting, you shit with your poop and finger it. I don't know, dude. Just do fucking something. Because like I said, you have no skills, no talent. You're not funny. You're not entertaining. Instead, you just sit there and talk about politics while 13-year-olds jerk off on their iPhones. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to my fucking fantastic members here. We have Abimanyu Sharon, Nico, Dirt Grub. But Danny Kemper, OMG, it's Birdman Archive, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It means fucking everything to me. Like, you guys are the goddamn goats. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. More importantly, though, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.